What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're taking a look at the Asus Strix G16 and Strix G18. These are two of the upper mid-range laptops that money can buy. And these feature the Intel CPUs, which means they get all the bells and whistles and upgrades that the AMD Ryzen versions do not. The AMD Ryzen version, guess what? You're gonna get an old 2023 chassis. The 2024 Intel version is gonna have a toolless bottom to open the bottom up. If you want to take this apart, you can easily pull this over, do like this, pull it like this, pop it right off. And now you can upgrade your SSD, your RAM, your uh, clean out your fans, uh, your Wi-Fi card, uh, check your battery or change your battery out. There's so much upgradeability here. Uh, quick, easy access. Notice we also have vapor chamber cooling, a tri-fan vapor chamber cooling system. Super sick and super awesome. And also notice the 360 degree light bar. You get none of this in the Ryzen version of the G16 and G18, which is just like, it really sucks that you don't get the full access or the full feature set uh, that the Intel does if you want to get Ryzen. So I just really, really wish Asus would provide a Ryzen variant for especially their highest end, at least the SCAR series. I understand maybe the budget end, budget entry ones, they want to use the old 2023 chassis up or something like that. But I mean, uh, yeah, I really like these new chassis. And there's more upgrades besides that. You also have an IR camera, Windows Hello, and it's a 1080p webcam. So uh, there's just like so many different reasons why the 2024 version of the Intel is better than the 2024 version of the Ryzen. So be careful when you're buying the Strix G16 and G18 this year, because they're not the same laptop. All right, let's talk a little more about the specs on the G16 and G18. Uh, no matter what you get, you're gonna get a Intel Core Ultra 9 275HX if you're going with Intel, and it's gonna be up to an RTX 5080, but there will be lower end SKUs of these laptops available with like a 5070, 5070 Ti, maybe 5060. I'm not sure exactly which models will be available, but I know there will be some cheaper ones. I believe this laptop, uh, the G18, I believe will start with 1899 for the 5070 with the Intel Core Ultra 9. So that's a really high-end CPU with a new 5000 series GPU. And you get the new design, the, the new RGB, the cool, uh, everything about the new laptop, the Windows Hello, all of that. You get all that in the 2024 version of Intel, but you don't with the Ryzen. That said, these look awesome. The, uh, the main differences between the Strix G16 and the SCAR16 and the G18 and the SCAR18, you can see right behind here, the anime matrix. is It's, it's like a whole animation now. And you don't get that on the G16 and G18. They're saving money, giving you a laptop at a bigger discount because of the lack of that anime matrix, as well as you don't get access to the latest and greatest um, highest end GPUs in the G16 and G18 because you can only get up to a 5080, not a 5090. Now, in terms of actual heat throughput and output, you have very similar systems between the Strix G16 and G18. Ryzen version does not have liquid metal conducting on, but all of the Intel versions do. That's like five or six key design changes that make the Intel version just dramatically better than the Ryzen version. So if I were deciding bet between them, yeah, the Ryzen chip might actually outperform the Intel chip in a lot of ways, but you're getting big downgrades in chassis design and uh, usability with Windows Hello and uh, upgradeability ease with the toolless up uh, upgrade opening of the bottom. So. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of changes that I just really wish Asus had just given to all of the different models, including Intel and AMD. Okay, enough about that. These laptops do look awesome. I think they will be awesome, and they will be worth a pretty penny. They will cost a lot, but I know they start around $1899 for the low-end model with the Core Ultra 9 275HX. So, anyway, uh, I guess let's actually take a look at the ports real quick as well. It's going to be two USB-A 3.2s on the right. On the left, we have the AMD reversible power plug with an upward-facing Ethernet port, HDMI 2.1, USB 
uh, two, and then you only have one Thunderbolt 5 on here, but it is a Thunderbolt 5. So that's really great. And you have another uh, USB-C on here and a headset port. So you still get a lot of upgrade ability. Uh, you still get a, a lot of really good ports and at least you get one Thunderbolt 5. So that's good enough. The Scar 16 and Scar 18 have two Thunderbolt 5s though. So that's another key difference between the two units. Anyway, that's it for real. We'll see you in the next one. More CES coverage coming very soon. Brandon, out.